Hello guys, welcome to a new video. So, as you can see from the title, I have a bunch of products from Primark and today we're gonna try everything. Uh, I need to be a little bit quick because we're gonna go out. So, yeah, so let's just dive into. So, I've got pretty much everything except like blush and um, like bronzer, I couldn't find it either. And uh, eyeshadow palette, like I only see like one there, and was like super full of like nudes and basics, and I was like, <laughs> I really don't need that in my life. <laughs> so yeah, let's just do something like natural today and see if there's anything worth it here. Uh, I spent 29 euros for like 12 or 13 products, but yeah, let's see. So the first off, I catch it on promotion, 3 euros for this one. This is the Prep Plus Perfect Brightening Primer with Banana Extract. And it says it moisturizes, illuminates skin and provides an instant glow. Um, I did try this one on my hand yesterday. And uh, basically the glow that they say that it gives is like straight up uh, glitter on your face. Um, but I'm not gonna judge, maybe it looks super nice, you'll never know. I've actually worked with these products before, like in uh, Kiko, Kiko Milano, and it was cute, you know, like the glitter under it kind of gives a nice vibe. It really smells like banana dough. <laughs> That's nice. I didn't notice that yesterday. Like the glitter is not like, um, like big chunk sparkles, but like, you can see that it has, you know, something there. <laughs> It smells really nice. Okay, so while that is getting onto my skin, let's do the eyebrows. I was able to get two uh, brow products. I've got the Keep It Full Fiber brown gel, Brow Gel and the, how's the name of this one? Brow Sketch, Brow Pencil in Dark Brown. This was one, no, this was expensive, three euros, and the other one, 250. So yeah, let's open these babies up and let's try them. Basically, this is so hard to open. Jesus Christ. Oh, I didn't open the second part. <laughs> I need the second part. Just like these plastics don't come to play. Although it's normal that I have this. I was in Prim Primark and most of the products that were in promotion were actually like used and like used in a way <laughs> that was like aggressive. Like what the fuck? Um, so I guess it makes sense that they would put like these mega plastics. <laughs> On every product so yeah uh, but I really need this open though <laughs> I really need this one let's go on to this really thin really thin um, pencil so let's see hopefully the color is not too off oh the color is perfect actually okay Ooh, it's not bad I like it, like the right texture, like it's not too soft, not too like like hard um, and I can get like actual hairs drawn, this is cool um, and the color is like perfect, mm, I like it, good good, since I don't have anything to comb, let's just use my finger but why is it always one brow that is so hard to do than the other one? Mamma mia. And I don't have concealer to actually make them okay. Okay, this is good enough for brows. Um, I don't have concealer to clean because all the concealers that were there were so but so dark like even the foundation i don't even know how oh wow Ooh. that looks weird okay let's try it is it doing anything i'm not sure i like the applicator it's so slim It's doing something, no? Ooh. Interesting product. Look at it. Okay, I see you. I like this. I think I'm gonna wear this like more time. 
It did make my eyebrows fuller. Okay, not bad, not bad. It's looking a little bit blocky, but <laughs> it is what it is. Um, so since I don't have like eyeshadow or anything, let's just move on to the foundation. As to the primer, it looks um, like very brightening and does not feel oily. And I would say it looks a teeny tiny bit sticky, just a teeny tiny bit. So let's see how this works. Um, I was looking at the foundations and everything. All of them were like super mad, mad, whoa, flawless mad. And I was like, <laughs> my skin is so dry. I need something that hydrates. So I found this one. This is the my perfect color, perfect foundation, foundation, medium to full coverage, natural finish, vitamin C plus vitamin E. And there was also like a skin tint there, but I was like. Skin tint is that gonna cover anything at all because I didn't find any concealer for me So I was like, let me get something that is a little bit more coverage. So I got this. This is the um, In the color purslane uh, three f and it was 350 like euros, you know um, Hopefully this is light enough for me. I was like <laughs> Where the heck am I going to find lighter foundations for me like? But yeah, let's um, let's see how it is I have the impression that this is going to be so thick. Let's see. I'm gonna take a little bit on my finger. Oh yeah, it's thick. Okay, I don't know if I need much or nothing, but we'll see how it is. And I'm gonna use a brush to blend. And it has a weird scent, but it doesn't smell bad. It just has a weird scent. Color is more or less okay. Coverage. Um, where did it go? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go on the other side. Let's not judge yet. I kind of like the scent. It's kind of like a fresh kind of thing. Mm. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put more because I need more coverage than this. Especially, let's see how much it can cover on my eye bags. Let's see. Let's put a blob on each eye. Like so, like so, and a little bit more here. Let's see how it is. Maybe that was too much, but we'll see. It's really white actually. I could go lower, but I couldn't try them. There was no testers, no anything, so yeah. On this eyeball. Actually covered a lot. As like texture or anything, it gives a little bit of texture, but nothing bad. Let's see when I put the powder on top, but it's not bad. Let's see, and also let's see how does this like hold up after, um, because that's usually the problem. Not after like actually putting it on, but you know, them actually looking good after some time. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put the blush first. Uh, since uh, I told you guys I don't have like a blush, I didn't find anything, so I'm just gonna use a health one, and I'm just gonna put that and uh, get moving. <laughs> I actually found a powder from them. This is the loose baking powder. Uh, my perfect color it was also 350, and it says that it reduces shine, soft matte finish, breathable coverage, oil free. So let's open the baby up and let's try this. I wonder if it has a sponge inside. Oh, I'm scared. Ah, okay, it has a little thing that's useful. So I'm just gonna. Oh my god, I got powder all over my clothes and I'm wearing all black. <laughs> Fuck. Let's get a little bit of the powder on the lid. Okay, so 
it's like a thicker powder that's why it says like it's like a little bit buildable i think i just want to say that so far it looks so good actually i am um present uh, pleasantly surprised but i don't want to get my oats up already because I know that these products usually just tell their, their true colors after some time. <laughs> so yeah, the powder, it's very blurring as it says and um, hopefully you can see some of the texture. And it looks good. I would say that my skin is like has a lot more texture than it usually has. And also my eyes have a lot of more like lines under it <laughs> like expression lines usually doesn't have as much i would say i'm also gonna contour out of camera i'm just using the essence contouring palette just to give you a little bit of definition so i had actually to redo the tails of my eyebrows they look a little bit weird um but yeah i don't think i, I can do anything about it <laughs> so what else yeah, next thing we have is the Rose Glow Highlighter. It was 4 euros and it looks like this. I think it looks kind of cute actually. Let's see, there was like two shades. This one, which is like a pink one, and then it had um, like a super gold one. So let's see how this one looks like. I'm just going to apply it with my fingers because that's usually what I do. And also, I don't have a brush. <laughs> So let's try it, shall we? Ooh. It's pretty. Maybe a little, just a little bit dark for me. But I actually do not mind. Can you see that, guys? It's pretty. I'm going to apply a little bit on the inner corner since I don't have foundation. Uh, I don't have foundation, no, I don't have like eyeshadow. Just gonna go in there to give, just give it a little something something in the eyes, you know. And also a little bit on the eyebrow. Yeah, the eyebrow uh, pencil, I think it's a no-no. It's like moving so easily. It'll be gone in a second. Mamma mia. Okay, so this one, I'll definitely be using it again. Maybe not as eyeliner because I feel like it's a little bit... Um, dark for me but as highlighter in the center or like as eyeshadow I feel like it's a good one I like it and it's gonna last a fucking long time look at how big this is this is nice for four euros hmm. impressed impressed I would say um, then what else do we have oh I also bought like a pencil let's see if it does anything so this is Coal Eyeliner Matte and it doesn't say anything else, so let's go to town and see if it actually does anything inside of my water eye, water eye, <laughs> water line, <laughs> ooh, I just had like the impression that it was stinging a little bit, but it's fine, yeah, let's see, it does make my eyes a little bit weird. They're getting a little bit watery. Hmm. Okay, so next product. I mean, next product. No, let's let, wait. Wait, I need this. Um, this is also not related to the video, but I need to put something to make this last. <laughs> Here we go. Dry. Yeah, I always do a fair chance because I never put foundation without like setting spray and like without primer and powder So I want to give this a fair chance to work, you know guys I, oh, There was like a TikTok video that I saw where I got really annoyed There was like a girl and she was like, oh, I expect my foundation to work just with this foundation Nothing else. I don't need primer. I don't need anything. It must work without everything. And I'm like, bitch, what do you mean? I was annoyed and then I was I went to the comments and there were people like yeah, yeah exactly like things have to work like what the fuck and I'm like girl no what do you mean there are rules in makeup you know like the skin needs to be properly 
um, prepared to get the things on top. Like, it's not magic. Like, foundation is not gonna solve all your problems. Like, what the fuck? Anyway, so now I have this mascara that I'm going to put on. This was 350 and it's called Double A Mascara for lift, length, and volume. And it's basically a two side mascara wand. And this is like the viral mascara that is going on TikTok. I guess they just were like, yeah, let's make a copy. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, let's test it and see how it is. So, let's see how the brush looks like. Okay, so double sided. What do you mean? Like, should I apply like this? Wait, I'm confused. What do you mean, double sided? Two side mascara, the slim side lengths. Slim side? Like this? Oh, okay, I see. And then you put like this? Okay, that's weird, but okay. Slim side lengths, while the wide side builds the, the volume. Okay. Okay, <laughs> let's see how it is. Let me tip a little bit more. Yeah, the product is like thick. Like, let me go on the other side now. Again, just like I feel like this slimmer side kind of separates a little bit more, or not? I don't know. Now the thick. Am I doing this right? Thick side for volume. I got so much mess in there. What the fuck? Uh, I'm gonna play it on the other side, but I don't really like it, guys. At first I was like, hmm, maybe this has potential, but in the end, I don't think so. Like at first it gives a lot of volume, right? And lengthening actually but you gotta be careful if you don't if you put like too much you ruined it like forever but it's cute but, like this one is just too clumpy for me like, too fucking clumpy hmm oh. I got so much mess look at how much mess I did this is huh, not my usual um, work. <laughs> it's so thick. I'm gonna go over on the under eye. Yeah, it's not. It's not really the best, is it? Yeah, no. I don't think it's gonna work. I think it looks bad, guys. Especially these eyes. This one kind of actually had like lengthening, but this one, <laughs> it's a no-no, I think. <laughs> okay, so the mascara is not approved. Nah, why does this one look so small? Wait, I need to fix this, guys. Okay, so I'm just quickly gonna fix it because I am going out and this one looks very weird. Just quickly gonna separate the lashes with my usual mascara. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Did you guys see that? She perfection. Okay. So I guess I could use this mascara as a base and then go with my Technic one to separate. Look at it. Now it has potential. See you guys? Uh-huh. But yeah. Okay, that looks better. Yes. Perfection. So yeah, the mascara is not approved at all. I would still prefer my one and only technique one, Mega Lash. But <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the last product that I have to try is a matte um, lipstick combo. This is a lip liner and a lipstick. And it was 5 euros. So let's try it, shall we? Let's open it up. I hope this is not used. Um, the bar still, the <laughs> box is still closed. So I think it's gonna be okay. Okay, I'm just drawing the box. Oh god. But they make it so hard to open it. Which again, fair. Fair. <laughs> so, okay, it looks like this. Let's see. Also, the shade. What shade is this? 
it doesn't say. <laughs> it doesn't say the shade. Anyways, let's begin with the lipstick. The lipstick, not the lip liner. My eyes are a bit weird after all that mascara. Anyways. Okay, this is okay. Um, it's very dry. It's very dry, the um, texture. Okay, let's put the lipstick uh, on top. I like the packaging also. This is plastic, but it looks kind of bougie. And the lipstick. The lipstick is a perfect match to the lip liner, but I thought it was gonna be a way um, darker shade. I like the lipstick applicator, it's really small, really precise. It also has a bit of a scent and it smells really good. But one thing that is throwing me off is like the color. I thought it was going to be way darker. Can you see the difference in color? Because you can't test these lipsticks. Um, but yeah, I thought it was going to be way darker, like a wine kind of color, but it turns out it's like reddish. So yeah, mm. it's okay, I guess. Let's see how this looks like. I'm going to go, we're gonna go out. And when I come back, I'll film a little bit and see how this looks like after some hours. So yeah, thank you guys. I'll see you in a bit. It looks, no foundation here. Hopefully you can see. <laughs> no foundation here. It's like gone. <laughs> On my chin, which is like the most problematic zone. It looks a bit dry. But like in this part, it's okay. Um, yeah, foundation is... Um, I don't know. I don't know if I will wear it again. Uh, I feel like I'll remain with my foundation, but I guess I could wear it. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, also, the primer is like... I don't feel like it did anything. Um, the thing that I'm going to keep would be the blush. I like the blush and um, the brow product. I feel like it's it's a good one. I like this one. Not the pencil, but this one. The microfiber one. So, yeah. Um, sorry for the last part that I'm filming. Just got home and yeah. I, need, I wanted to get off. So, yeah. Thank you so much, guys.